go. She goes over under, classic butterfly sweep. I don't let it. She takes me this direction, pops on out, spins out. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay, teach me grappling. Okay. What? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Everyone, Megan's ready. Teach me grappling. What's up, everyone? We're going to show you guys a ghost setup. Okay? I still have a lot of people hitting up the ghost video. The ghost is unstoppable. That's the main video that most people have seen. And I have a lot of follow-up videos. And I even had a video before the ghost is unstoppable video where I basically showed the ghost with the setup to the Dars. Now, there's a lot of people out there that don't like my ghost video. Some people love it, some people hate it, and it's okay. I get what the haters are talking about. They think that you can't squeeze out the way I showed. And I explained, through time and time of hard work put in, you eventually will develop some movement where you can squeeze out. But, for a lot of you guys that are having problems, you need to set it up better, and I'm gonna give you a new setup. I told you guys back then that I would give you a new setup and I'm finally bringing you one. And then I want to address the problem that you guys are having with the ghost escape. Okay, so first let's go over the setup. Okay, so I've got Megan. I'm going to be playing now for my guard. So instead of going from side control where someone locks you up tight, you know, Megan's locked me up tight. And you go, oh, it doesn't work. I can't get out. You know, you're not able to get out when somebody connects their hands real tight and smashes, sorry, smashes my jaw. You know, you guys aren't good at that movement. Okay? So, we're going to give you guys a setup. Watch this. So, Anthony, just come around and get the best angles. I'm going to have a butterfly guard. Okay, so I have a butterfly hook, and then I'm coming in, I'm looking for my most traditional, just relax for a second, traditional butterfly sweep. I have the triceps, swallow the, the wrist, and I have an underhook. The traditional butterfly sweep, I fall to my shoulder, I try to lift, and sweep. That's what I'd like. But, as you guys have probably already figured it out, it doesn't work a lot because this person knows what you're doing and when you even get this grip, it may be a challenge just to get here, but when you get here, you try to go this way and they shift the weight and they go this way. Now, when they do that, remember they have an underhook. So this good for them, that underhook becomes good because I can no longer take her this way and now if she puts me on my back, it's theoretically possible for her to just put some good hip pressure, put your head down, and then she starts to cut through. Watch her knee come through, boom, she cuts through, and she passes the guard. You let her tighten you up like this, and you're, you're getting your butt kicked, okay? Especially by Megan, right, Megan? Yeah, Okay. especially by me. <laughs> All right, so I wanna get here and I wanna set her up. So in the middle of the move, I go, check the butterfly sweep, it doesn't work. When it doesn't work, I'm gonna take the butterfly sweep to this side, the way she shifted her weight. But I already know she's gonna block the sweep. So I keep the arm, I check it, I go this way, and I lift the hook. As I lift the hook, come look over here. She, she pulls her knee and her hand. I can't get, the, I don't wanna come over like this. I'm just from the underhook, I come to this like I'm threatening a butterfly sweep. But really, all I want to do is throw her in this direction with my hook. See my butterfly hook? You okay? Yeah, things are up here. Okay. I throw her, lift her this way as my, I'm going to let my hook, she's putting pressure on my hook anyway. So I throw it and I drop it. At the same time, I cut the hand between and now we're going to whip right into the ghost. Look at my left leg. 
My left leg's in a whip now. I swing and pop right out. And I'm all over the head right here, showing the Dars finish. Boom, bang, wrist deep. I've got my grip. It's time to walk, 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 and squeeze that Dars and finish them and choke them out. So, here's that setup again. Okay, I start with the over under. I wanna get the butterfly sweep. She shifts the weight. I'm gonna drop right into the left butterfly hook. I lifted her weight a little bit, creating some space. I was checking the sweep, but it's not working. I pummel underneath and pop out and I go here. Boom, right to the darts, walk on up towards them, squeeze, get the choke. If you have to hook a leg, you guys can go hook something and squeeze and finish. Now let's address one of the problems that everyone's having. Okay, um, the problem is when Megan does a, a ghost, we'll just go straight to the ghost. So she has my arm with her left arm and then she's popping out. When she pops out, most of you guys are complaining about this counter. Again, I kind of did, I believe it's, I called it the peak out counter, but really what I did is I showed a lot of extra technique and I know what you guys are doing, what you're running into. You're trying to look for that Doris as you walk in a circle. They just walk forward and they catch you right here, okay? Now on the peak out counter video, if you guys can research that, all I talked about was sitting and lifting your head up so that if she goes to me and she starts to get my head into the Doris right here, she starts to Doris, I wanna peak. And then as I peak and I sit, I pop and I break that grip just right as she started to get it. I lifted my head up and I can come across here. I could have a double leg and I'm up on top and I've countered her darts and her ghost didn't help. So, but most of you guys just run into the person who just runs. So the best way I can explain this, you guys have all done this as kids. One of you is, you know, maybe there's a dining room table and you're chasing your brother or your sister. And when you're chasing them, you're chasing them in circles. And because they're going so fast in one direction, all you do is you change direction and you catch them. Well, that's all I'm doing to counter this ghost. Where does she want to go? She wants to walk her legs this way and pop her head out. So instead of chasing her, where she gets away, go ahead, and she captures, and I get top, instead of doing that, I just catch her on the other side. So I'm here, I realize I can't shut her down. She's walking out, she's walking, I just come forward and I catch her on this side, okay? And a lot of you guys are running into that problem. So let's address the problem. Let's say, um, let's say I'm on the bottom and you're gonna be on top. I'm gonna do that setup again. So we've got our setup. I, I go for the overhook. I check the butterfly sweep, she shifts weight. I lift the hook. As I pop out, she's gonna try to run the side control. Guys, when you guys are here, you gotta walk away. As she continues to try to chase, I'm walking away now because she's going forward. I don't wanna to continue to walk into her. She's gonna get me, okay? If you do that and she gets control, you need to immediately frame and try to hip escape and get your guard back, okay? If they do come in that way, you still might be, you may not get the darts, but you still may, may be able to get, you know, uh, guard back. And at least they're not side controlling, smashing you anymore. So again, first one, I wanna give you this advice. I check the butterfly sweep, I go the other way, I lift the hook, and I cut into my ghost, I walk away. She keeps coming, I walk away. Roll her through, lift the head, sink the arm, and finish the, the dars. Now, for you guys that find that that's too hard for you, because I, I, it's highly technical, you okay? <laughs> neon knee her hair. Anyway, neon hair is a good technique. Um, if you guys can't do that, don't worry. All you have to do is just forget about the dars. Just hit your ghost and train it to go right into the front headlock. So oh, wait, keep talking. Okay, I gotta keep talking because she's fixing the hair. So if you guys want to see her fix her hair, this is normal. Um, when you guys, when you, instead of going for the darts, so when you pop out on the ghost, 
All I want you guys to do is rotate your body like this. Oh, you're ready already? <laughs> so look, when, when I pop out, instead of trying to get the dars, just take your legs and then just scissor and switch over. And this hand, don't be here because she can go into side control. You see that? Yeah, you could either peek or you could have just walked or she could just get up on her knees and walk and walk right into side control. So what I do is, as I pop out, go ahead and come on back, come on back, come on back, come on back, no, yeah, there we go. So when I'm here, I just, I just popped out and I see her, she's starting to come around, just walk around. So I'm gonna go hips up and down, I sit her, I take this leg, the left, and I pull it away as I go heavy on the head, right shoulder in the back of the neck, right hand on the chin, chin strap, as you notice my hips, drop my right hip, and I get up this way, so if she drives into me, I, she can't do anything, and then I get up on my knee, and I've got a nice front headlock. You guys can attack the guillotine, your high elbow guillotine. You can also slide and go towards the back. So one more time on our, on our uh, I'll show it one more time. I do my setup, and this time I'm gonna go to the front headlock. So I check the butterfly sweep, it doesn't work. I go ahead and I bring her up this way, pop on out, roll over to my belly, and come right up in the front headlock. Okay, just like that. Okay, Megan, you wanna do it? Let's see it. I'm gonna force Megan. Megan is, is not particular to the ghost, so I like to make her do moves she's uncomfortable with so she gets better, so she grows as a grappler. Here we go. She's got the over-under. She's gonna go ahead and check the throw the, to the left. I don't let her, so she goes to the right. Boom, I keep my balance, she pops on out. Right in the front headlock. Can't double leg. So what's your favorite finish, man? Go ahead. Right into, oh no. Oh man. Right into the reverse of my plata. Ow, oh, okay. Right there, okay. One more time. One more time, one more time, one more time. There's always one more. Okay, go. She goes over under, classic butterfly sweep. I don't let it. She takes me this direction, pops on out, spins out. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay. Teach me grappling. Okay. <laughs> you press pause real quick? It's okay. He paused the video. It's okay. We were just about to do the end. It's okay. Don't ever pause the video at the end. Calm. Okay, guys. I'll be okay. <laughs> I know you guys are happy. You guys just got to see some awesome moves. Come on, Megan, step up. Here we go. Me in the face. All right. This is Megan Parducha, if you guys didn't know. She's gonna be competing in EBI. EBI 18, December 9th, Austin, Texas. Ooh, we got Did it I get this it? Time. I got it this nice. time. All right, right there. You guys need to check it out. Inchbyinch.tv as well. You guys can also see it on UFC Fight Pass. Oh my God. All right. Got all the details right. Take it easy, you guys. Please contribute to this channel. Click the link down below at Patreon, PayPal, Support this channel. I'm gonna bring you guys awesome stuff every single day. All you ghost people out there that complain about how hard it is, there's a great setup for you so you can enter into the ghost without it being so hard on your face, getting all mat burned, rug burned from the gi and all that stuff. Use that butterfly hook to create some space and then pop on out. Thank you guys so much. Take it easy. See you tomorrow.